One of the most confusing and frustrating investigations by law enforcement is related to people who disappear in highly rural locations, forests, plains, deserts, and regions with few residences. These cases offer no witnesses, few clues, and a strange lack of evidence. Where are these people? How do they disappear without leaving a scent trail, no tracks, and a distinct lack of physical evidence? Welcome, seekers of the unknown, to a journey that transcends the boundaries of ordinary comprehension. Today, we unravel the mysterious web of missing 411 and its perplexing connection to unidentified flying objects, UFOs. Join us as we delve into the chilling facts that point to a cosmic tapestry woven with inexplicable vanishings and extraterrestrial enigmas. If you have not watched my other video on the missing 411 mystery, I would suggest you go and watch that first. Please take a moment to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories like these. In the perplexing landscape of missing 411, David Paulides emerges as a central figure, guiding us through a web of unsettling facts that elude conventional understanding. A seasoned investigator with a background in law enforcement, Paulides delves into the mysterious disappearances that form 64 geographical clusters across the United States. Individuals vanish without a trace, and leaving behind unanswered questions and a void that stretches across the heart of the nation. Rather than delving into speculative theories, he anchors his exploration in chilling truths that challenge the boundaries of our comprehension. With years dedicated to this investigation, Paulides has meticulously documented his findings and presented them in a thought-provoking documentary that unravels the mystery. In the mysterious realm of disappearances, even the usually infallible tracking instincts of canines falter. Their noses, finely attuned to scents, fail to pick up even the faintest trail. It's as if the very essence of the missing individuals dissipates into the air, leaving the search parties confounded. Let's dive into the puzzling story of Ray Salman, a living embodiment of this perplexing enigma. A seasoned outdoorsman hailing from Vancouver whose truck and camper, along with him and his two dogs inside, became a haunting mystery. Ray Salman's truck and camper were discovered meticulously locked, but he himself was never found, adding another layer of mystery to his disappearance and intensifying the search efforts. Picture the scene, an array of search tools, the buzz of activity, and yet amidst it all, only remnants surface. Folded clothes, a lone rifle concealed beneath a log, mere fragments of a puzzle that refuses to be solved. These haunting details, recurring across various cases, weave together into a tapestry of eerie consistency, beckoning us to unravel the threads of an enigmatic pattern. These chilling details, repeated in various cases, form a peculiar and perplexing pattern. Skinwalker Ranch, a place where paranormal activity is both playful and dangerous, looms large. George Knapp, a seasoned reporter, skillfully draws parallels between David Pauladi's investigations and the uncanny events transpiring at Skinwalker Ranch. As we follow Knapp's narrative thread, a revelation emerges, an unsettling confirmation that the U.S. government actively probes the depths of paranormal phenomena. Knapp navigates through intricate details, unraveling a tapestry of enigmatic events that defy conventional explanation. His disclosure adds weight to the notion that missing 411 may be more than mere coincidence. Knapp's findings lure the mind, posing intriguing questions that echo in the vastness of the unknown. Could there be a connection between the supernatural occurrences at Skinwalker Ranch and the inexplicable vanishings meticulously documented by Paulides? Is Paulides, in his relentless pursuit of truth, peeling back layers that shield a cosmic secret? Are extraterrestrial forces intricately intertwined with the unsettling pattern of vanishings, orchestrating events beyond human comprehension? Are we, through Paulides' investigations, glimpsing into a realm where the supernatural and the extraterrestrial converge, weaving a narrative that transcends the boundaries of our understanding. The enigma deepens as we delve into UFO sightings intricately woven into the fabric of the disappearances. 
Peter Davenport, director of the National UFO Reporting Center, vividly recounts a chilling Washington state case where a silent craft eerily lifted an elk into the air, leaving witnesses astounded by the bizarre event. In the wilderness of Idaho, elk hunters found themselves in the presence of a massive triangle-shaped UFO with no discernible seams or joints. These otherworldly encounters seamlessly integrated into the narrative of Missing 411 not only challenge our understanding of reality, but also add another layer to the ever-deepening mystery. The plot thickens as seasoned and retired FBI Special Agent John D'Souza takes center stage. With 25 years of investigative prowess, D'Souza not only corroborates Polydes' findings, but takes a daring step further. His audacious claim suggests that extraterrestrial beings from adjacent universes or parallel dimensions might be the elusive puppeteers orchestrating these perplexing disappearances. In this revelation, D'Souza challenges the very boundaries of the known physical world. Are these missing individuals unwitting pawns in a cosmic chess game, manipulated by entities from realms beyond our comprehension? As we grapple with this audacious hypothesis, the lines blur between the mysterious vanishings and the enigmatic UFO encounters. Could these entities, unseen and unfathomable, be the missing link that ties together the unsettling narrative of missing 411 and the extraterrestrial unknown? The questions linger, inviting us to consider a reality that transcends the limits of our understanding. The cases become more surreal after the disappearance of German physicist Reinhard Kirchner. Kirchner disappeared during a trip to Arizona, his rental truck found on Navajo property. Local ranchers report unusual lights in the sky and rumors of Kirchner being abducted by alien surface. The most unusual case unfolds with oil driller Carl Higdon. According to him, he experienced a glass cube, a man-like being, and a journey inside a UFO. Higdon voluntarily took a lie detector test after his otherworldly encounter to assert the truthfulness of his extraordinary account. And surprisingly, he passed that test. The plot thickens when his doctor delivers the astonishing news that tuberculosis spots on his lungs that he had before that encounter with the UFO have miraculously cleared up. The involvement of famed researcher Dr. R. Leo Sprinkle adds credibility to this bizarre account. This strange narrative, interwoven with UFO sightings, paints a vivid picture of a reality beyond our grasp. The mystery persists with the disappearance of Mark Anthony Strittmotter and the elusive vanishing of Charles Gustafson, an elk hunter who went missing 25 years after the Higdon incident. Despite an intensive six-day search involving canines, foot patrols, and helicopters, Gustafson remained elusive. The discovery of his rifle and fanny pack raised more questions than answers mirroring the perplexing nature of disappearances documented in the missing 411 cases. Most of the cases shared big similarities. A sudden change in weather, no tracks found, and a witness who recalls seeing a UFO in the area. Is there a cosmic connection spanning decades in these cases? The unanswered questions linger, shrouded in an aura of cosmic ambiguity. Are these natural phenomena or orchestrated elements of a grander design? In the wild world of vanishings, UFO run-ins, and spooky coincidences, there's something more going on. David Polides wraps up our journey, talking about how tough it is to untangle these mysteries. And it uncovered something wild, an idea that connects the gaps in missing 411 cases to UFOs. The mystery sticks around, pulling us to investigate the unknown where regular and mind-blowing things collide. The vanishings, the UFO meetups, and the weird connections across cases all hint at a secret reality that's hard to figure out. As we wrap up this trip into the wild mix of missing 411 and UFOs, it leaves us scratching our heads with more questions than answers. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Until next time, stay cautious and remain vigilant.